I am something new. This is something I'm trying to express. I'm wearing a new skin, have I told you? I've crossed six splintered bridges to sleep in that cottage with the yellow curtains. I can write there, it's peaceful, and I disregard shaving, which is freeing. Some mornings I light the fire and drink pots of tar-like tea until I'm bloated. It's soothing. I make it strong, it reminds me of my grandmother. I get lost in books about fallen soldiers. I get lost in songs about a religion I don't believe in. I get lost in half-thoughts and imagination. I sleep until I wake, and sometimes I see the groundskeeper standing at the heart with his cap at his breast, spitting into the embers and laughing that infectious, infective laugh that saved me innumerable times. But he is old and soon to die. I know this, as does he. We will both be sad for a while. I will speak of him at the funerals of strangers. I will think of him in absolute solitude and he will advise me. The floorboards are my creased hands that belong to somebody else. I navigate their trenches in my bare feet and talk to my reflection in the mortified window until we have an argument about the colour of my eyes. It is quiet here. I intend to stay. Preserve me in your letters. No junk mail, please. Immortal orchid, Nordic child, I swim like a mad king around your ivory womb. Lactose intolerant lover, rescue me from death by spreading your legs and calling it art. I'll shovel the shit of any vulgar herd during periods of wakefulness in the name of our dream. Evoke spiritus mundi from its sleep inside your skull. Let loose long ululations into that belief.